Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to set up a, a Forge app on your BIM360 account so that you can start interacting with uh, the BIM360 API. Uh, it's really easy to do. Um, one thing you will have to have is access uh, or you'll have to be an account admin for your BIM360 account or uh, your BIM360 account admin at your firm or company um, has to add the app to it if you want access to start using uh, the for or the BIM360 API. So um, I'll show you that when we get in there, kind of what I mean by that. But the first bit is setting up that your Forge app, and to do that, um, if you sign into uh, to your Autodesk uh, with your Autodesk account on the Forge website, you can go down here to My Apps, and then uh, from there you can create an app. And then this is just going to let you select uh, the different APIs. Uh, these are all really powerful. There's a lot of stuff uh, in it, and I definitely recommend checking out the documentation page to read more about these. Uh, but if you're just working with the BIM 360 API, um, these three are are pretty good to to have on. Um, these are primarily what I work with. Now you can always come back to this and update these and add other APIs if you're uh, if you plan on doing other things later down the road. Um, so keep that in mind. So now uh, we'll do just our app name. So we can just say my first app down here. You have to add a description. Um, or it won't let you uh, create it down here. You can just put whatever you want, whatever URL. And this is optional. And then we can create our app. And that's that's all it takes to create your app. Um, the client ID, um, this value is pretty important uh, for connecting into the BIM360 API and the data management API. Same for the client secrets. I mean, to get your authentication stuff, you have to use those values. Um, so just remember those or just remember to come out here and see those. Uh, this client secret one is a private one, so make sure not to show that it to anybody. But anyways, after this is set up, um, you'll need this this information to add it to BIM 360. So um, what we can do is uh, jump over to BIM 360 and then uh, as an account admin, you can go into settings and then down here you can add a custom integration. And then um, from here you can select what it what it has access to. For now we can just say both. And then um, you'll want to say I'm the developer. And then from here, you would put in your Forge client ID. And that's what we saw here. Um, so that's this value right here. And then um, whatever your app name is. And then a brief description. And then um, that's it. What you can do after that is just uh, come down here to save and then you're good to go. Uh, you'll have access to that um, to Forge and you can, or not to Forge, but to, to your BIM 360 uh, API and your, your account so you can start to automate different things or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, but that's all you have to do to set this up. So if I go back here to client ID, grab that paste it in there and then I can say my first app I'm not sure if app description is needed here so I'm gonna leave it blank and see if it gives us a, an error oops this account uh, ID value um, I I'm not sure why this is so important to, to have it saved uh, being that you can always like access that from the URL of the account um, you can always grab that value so you can see here um, and this isn't like a special value or anything um, anybody that has is invited to your hub you know external consultants have access to your account ID value because it's in their URL so 
Um, you know, if you don't write this down, just remember you can get that. It's always the same, you know, for your account. It's always going to be the same. Or, you know, um, it'll always be in the URL on the account admin. And I think also if you go to, like, visit a project, it'll have, like, account number slash project and then the project ID. But you can always, you know, find that value. You can even use the Forge API to, to return that the account uh, um, ID. Um, so after that, you just save and you're good to go. You can see the app is there and you can start playing around with the, the, the Forge stuff. So I just wanted to show that because um, I had some questions and some people had some problems um, connecting um, into their accounts and doing that. Um, just make sure you're an account admin so you can add this stuff and if not talk with an account admin to add a test app just be careful um, because working with an API you can do some dangerous stuff um, you can delete things you can patch stuff um, meaning that you can update it or change the information um, one example is is like um, I was looping through a whole bunch of users and changing their um, companies and I was changing them to the wrong value this wasn't on a live uh, BIM 360 account this was just um, I, I wasn't connecting to BIM 360 I was just having it loop through a list um, but when I when I looked at that list I realized I was writing the same values to everybody um, which would have caused a lot of issues so just be careful um, when you're out there just make sure to check that um, test things before you actually you know test it look at the the um, the uh, um, the request that you're creating make sure those look right and uh, before you 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 actually start to run stuff on on the BIM 360 account because it would be horrible to to you know mess up a whole bunch of projects all of a sudden or a whole bunch of users um, uh, especially you know <laughs> when you're trying to to get people to 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 leverage the benefits of like the forge um, forge api's you know you want to show them that this will save us you know save people time so connecting it building apps um, incredibly powerful just be careful uh, when you're messing around up there. But anyways, thanks a lot guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.